Let's look at all we need to know about the beta distribution. This distribution is appropriate for a continuous random variable that is allowed to take values between 0 and 1. If my random variable y follows the beta distribution, it means that there are two parameters alpha and beta which collectively determine the expected value of y and the variance of y. If I set alpha to be equal to beta, my beta distribution will be symmetric and its expected value is equal to half. Now let's do this. Let's look at a number of cases wherein different choices of the values of alpha and beta result in different shapes for the beta distribution. Case 1 is when I set alpha and beta both to be equal to 1 over 4. That means a value less than 1. In this case, my beta distribution places a higher probability weight near the extreme values of 0 and 1. If I set alpha and beta both to be equal to 1, my beta distribution simplifies to the standard uniform distribution. If I set alpha and beta both to be equal to 2, my beta distribution becomes this nice symmetric humped shape distribution. And if I were to now start increasing the values of alpha and beta, while still retaining them to be the same value, you will observe that the distribution starts to become narrower, which means that it starts to become more concentrated around the mean value of 0 0.5. If alpha and beta are both greater than or equal to 10, the beta distribution can be approximated by the normal distribution provided alpha and beta they take on the same value greater than or equal to 10. Lastly, if alpha and beta are set to different values, let's say alpha being greater than beta, both being greater than 1, in this situation the probability weight of my distribution shifts towards the right, I mean towards the extreme value of 1, which creates a long left tail and makes my beta distribution negatively skewed. If alpha is less than beta, both being greater than 1, this pushes the probability weight towards the left, I mean towards the left extreme value of 0. This creates a long right tail and this makes my distribution positively skewed.